What's going on guys, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Titans Return, Borath and Mindwipe. Uh, so this is of course the updated version of Mindwipe, the, uh, the classic Headmaster figure, uh, but this time he's, he's got the Titan Master Vorath with him, which is a, I think a renaming of his original Headmaster, but I don't remember exactly what those names are, so I do apologize for that. But you can see he does have a batty, batty, beast, bat mode, <laughs> and uh, he's got a lot of purple on him, and uh, he actually looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm rather excited to have him. I do have a soft spot for beast formers. On the back here, we can take a look and see he does, in fact, have a little bio, which we will read very quickly here. Uh, the Decepticons unite with Titan Master partners to power up for battle. Vorath give my, gives Mind Wipe control over other bots' central processors, making them servants that do his bidding. Uh, so you can see he transforms in 16 steps. And, of course, it says on the side here that you can you know attach this head to all the other various uh, Transformers, Titan Masters figures, uh, Wolfire, Astro Train, Soundwave, etc., 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 Shows you uh, the beast mode, the robot mode, as well as where the Titan Master fits in the beast mode when, you know, not being ahead. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to have them. excited to open them up. So I'm going to do exactly that, and we will check out Mindwipe and Vorath in just a moment. All right, guys, it is time to take a look at Mindwipe here. And uh, before, before we do that, we're going to take a look at his Collecto card. And as you can see, it's a very nice image of Mindwipe here. I don't know if I'm too fond of that little face they gave him, but uh, it's all right. It's a minor nitpick. And, uh, yeah, he's cool looking. And on the back, of course, he's got... I never do that right. <laughs> he's got his stats. Uh, so, obviously, his base stats here uh, are, you know, decent. For a deluxe, you know, they don't, don't usually go much higher than, like, six. So, I mean, they have eight on that strength. That's pretty good. And, of course, with Vorath attached, uh, he gets up into the crazy town numbers. So, that's pretty cool. So, there you go. That is his little collector card. Here is Mindwipe. And he's a bat. He's a big purple bat. Um, so, he has some limited articulation going on here, so we'll, uh, we'll show that off in just a moment. I just want to show you his back. He's got little weird wingelings <laughs> along his back. I don't know, you may, uh, you may decide that that's cheating. That's fine. I mean, that's up to you. Uh, no discernible uh, uh, flight stand port in this mode, which seems weird to me. Um, I don't know if they'll fit, if you could fit one in one of these little screw holes in his back here. Um, I haven't actually tried, so you can you can try that out on your own and see if that works. Otherwise, uh, not really anywhere to, to attach this guy to a flight stand in bat mode, which seems a little odd to me. Uh, yeah, nothing under there either. Uh, he's got a little tail with a gun on it, you know, because because bats, I guess. Uh, that's pretty neat, and he does have a fairly impressive wingspan, as you can see. So articulation is basically this. I mean, he's got a little... I'm not... I'm a, I'm a bite ya. I'm a bite ya. So he's got that going on. It looks very, very much like a uh, Toho monster if we're being totally honest here, and we always are. And he can flap his wings. He's got several articulated points on his wings, and you can move them however you like. You can have him, like, you know, close in on himself, that sort of thing. So you can get some decent, uh, decent poses out of these wings with all of these different points of articulation. But other than that, there's not a whole lot to talk about as far as his beast mode goes. His legs don't really move. They're kind of plugged into the wings here. I mean, you can unplug them, of course, and, like, move them around, but that makes his wings so very easy to uh, to kind of get whacked out of position. So, mm, you know, he's not, not really a mobile bat. He does have his little tummy that you can open up, though. Boop! Like so, and pop out... Vorath, his little Titan Master buddy. Uh, so that's it. And there you go. You can take a look at Vorath here. So here is Vorath looking... I mean, okay. It's hard to make out his details uh, because there is no paint on this guy. 
but yeah, I mean, he looks pretty decent. On the back here, you can see the face, the face of Mindwipe. And uh, yeah, his his head sculpt is really nice, except for one thing. I'm not the hugest fan of his eyes. Uh, between his eyes and his mouth, he has kind of a worried look on his face. Is anyone else getting that? Like, he looks like he's upset about something. Like, oh no, I hope I didn't leave my oven on at home. I can't fight these Autobots if I left my oven on. I have to go back. I'm sorry. I gotta go home and check on that. So that's a little weird uh, to me. Just just the way it kind of curves up at the top. It's just a little off. Um, but that's all right. Over overall, in the grand scheme of things, not a big deal. So transforming this guy is not difficult. Uh, you know shouldn't be shouldn't expect it to be anyway so you're just going to pop the bat head down and it's just going to kind of plug into this little slot right here on the uh his his pink tummy of happiness and you can see right here he does have a flight stand port right in his robot mode butt so that's kind of strange uh so we're going to go ahead and unplug the wings from the bat legs like so we're going to bring the these legs down a little bit here and uh, I actually did, I did kind of get these flipped around, but it doesn't really matter too much. So we're just going to go ahead and fold the wings over as much as they can be folded, basically. Uh, so we're going to fold in this, the wing tip, which you have to be kind of careful with because it is a soft, rubbery kind of plastic. So if you're not careful, you'll bend it, but only one side will really bend and you'll end up kind of getting it kind of cockeyed and then it won't. It won't plug into this slot right here. So there's a little little tab, and it does in fact plug right in there. And then you can take the foot and just fold that down. Feet are weird on this guy. I don't know how I feel about these feet. Uh, they're just big blocks, big blocks. They just go up and down, no side to side or anything like that. But anyway, we're doing the same thing on this side, I'm just folding the whole wing around. And this is easily like the coolest part of the transformation because these these wings totally turn into a pair of totally totally fine legs like bam now he's got legs he had wings before now he's got legs and they're cool looking Mega Man legs so I mean there's that and they're like not even hollow they're they've got like filled in parts at the back which is pretty decent all right so we're gonna take these fake wings now we're gonna fold them and rotate them all the way around to the back just like so. So there you go, now he's got wings back there. We're gonna take his tail off because he, his head needs to go there. So take that off. We're gonna pop his bat legs down, rotate them around, open up them, <laughs> open them up, <laughs> I should say, and then flip his fisty poos out. Bring, do the same on the other side. Swivel it around, bring his elbow down and bring out his fisty poos just like that so there you go that's basically the body for mind wipe here now he does have two ports here he's got a port here where the tail goes in beast mode and he's got a port here for his head ma well uh titan master my apologies so you can if you want to give him the old uh shockwave gun head <laughs> and you can do that so you know, you've got that as an option. Enjoy it. Or you could just plug his head in here. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Just like so. All right, so articulation is as follows on this guy. Of course, his head is on a ball joint and can move around at will like so. His arms can go up and down. His arms, his shoulders are on ball joints and that rotating joint there. He does have the bicep swivel. He does have a very stiff elbow joint, but it is there. And it's a double elbow joint, so you get some really nice poses out of his arms like so. But it is very tight, so that's not a bad thing. He does have a waist swivel. Yay! So, you know, there's that. He's got universal joint hips. You can go out to the side. He's got a thigh swivel. He has a knee bend. He's got feet that can go back pretty far, like so, um, and go you know back like that fairly well. Uh, but other than that, they don't really do much. They don't you know they don't tilt or anything like that. So don't expect that out of him. But yeah, I mean he's a very nice 
uh, clean, svelte robot, with the exception of his weird bat head on his back, but, you know, can't have everything. And, you know, you can position these wings however you want. You can have them straight back if that's more your thing, or, you know, have them out to the sides if that's more your thing. You can stick this gun in his hand, and then he can point it at things to, you know, make them dead or whatever. Uh, and he also comes with this tail thing, uh, which is okay. Uh, you can get the claw going out of it like so, so we can swing that around. It's got two barrels on it, which I assume could be blasters or exhaust or whatever you really want them to be. You know, it's your it's your toy. Uh, he's got a little port here for weapons or whatever. And there's a peg here. You can seat your little dude or other little dudes right here in this little chair. Um, and then I guess kind of put this plug very shallowly into something like so. Like you can hold it like that and I guess have a guy sit there. Or you can flip it around and you can have like a giant weird shield claw thing uh so there's that uh personally i've been kind of doing it like this like he's got this whole thing sticking in his arm like so and then just have it around the back of his hand like a shield you know and then he can like kind of elbow people to, to kill them <laughs> which you know that's effective right elbowing you to death um but yeah, I mean, other than that, he's, he's a really nice figure. I thought he was going to be my favorite out of the wave. Uh, he's not. But, uh, you know, honestly, like, this whole wave so far has been really solid. And I don't think any one figure has stood out among any others, with the exception of one, which I will get to uh, very soon. But, um, yeah, I really do like this guy. So, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else to say about it. Uh, Mindwipe is a really cool figure. I did pre-order the uh, Optimus Primal Bat version of this. Uh, and now, you know, I'm very happy that I did. It's stupid expensive, but, uh, you know, it does come with... It is Optimus Primal, and he's a bat. And so, you know, I'm, I am happy to get this mold again. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really does help me out. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I've got one more review to record today, and then, then that's it. And I have to go out looking for more toys. But uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.